Welcome, welcome back to True Hall of Fame Builds. I am your host, Michael May, and today we're going to be going over the gameplay and the Q&A that my brother Black Cobra was presented with a couple of days ago. They asked some questions, you know what I'm saying? We're going to tune in right now to see what's going down, see what new stuff they talking about, see what you guys can get from it. Y'all already know Black Cobra one of the best shot creators in the game. You know what I'm saying? Tassino's up there, but my brother's a different, he a different monster, you know what I'm saying? Let's get into this. Big shout out to Black Cobra. Go subscribe to his channel. Subscribe to my channel. Like the video, turn notifications. Y'all already know, to all my new subs, y'all guys are amazing. Y'all girls are amazing. Because boy, 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 oh boy, them numbers is moving fast, and I'm grateful for y'all guys, you know what I'm saying, I'm so grateful, welcome to the family, y'all already know, here, we speak about being better, we want you guys to play better, y'all know, I represent big time for my post scorers, my, my post players, the shot creators, who play from the post, you know what I'm saying, so it is, y'all yeah, yeah, see, yeah, see what's going on in the back, right? Forever. Forever, ever? Forever, ever? Forever, ever. You dig what I'm saying? It's Dallas Mavericks to the day. You know what I mean? It is what it is. All right, let's get into this video. Y'all yeah, already know, man. Let's stop playing with this. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs, it is time, okay? It is time to get into this NBA 2K24 gameplay. But before we do that, I want to give a huge thank you to 2K and everybody who was involved in the community day. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, in this video, I'll be answering... Definitely, man. Big shout out to them boys recognizing... You know what I'm saying? Like... That black cobra is a force to be reckoned with. I don't know. I got this feeling in my gut. Just hear me. I got this feeling in my gut. I was telling my wife. I said, I have a feeling next, next community day, I'm going to be there. And please excuse the mess in the background. We finally fixing up the studio. You know what I'm saying? Like, me and the wife started diving in. The rest of the room is clean. You know what I'm saying? But I'm too lazy to put up the green screen, so we're gonna deal with it like this today. But um, yeah, man, let's get let's keep rocking. Questions that you guys asked me on Twitter. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now, Big Righteous, shout out to Big Righteous. He asked the Big shout out to Big Righteous, y'all. Y'all already know Big Righteous is one of the homies that's been helping me out tremendously with my gameplay. When it comes to this WWE, y'all gotta tune into my WWE, y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm stepping my game up because of him. He is a he is a WWE dev. He he's a developer of the game. Shout out to the homie, mad humble dude. You know what I'm saying? Like this is one of the guys that if God gives me the opportunity to meet him, I would. This is somebody I want to meet. You know what I'm saying? Like. You could tell that this guy is who he is in his real life. You know what I'm saying? Let me bring this down a little bit. It's kind of high. Bang. Much better. But, um, you know what I'm saying? Like, this guy right here is a humble dude. I respect him. Go subscribe to his YouTube channel, Big Righteous. You know what I'm saying? But, but get ahead, Black Over. Strength really matter in the post with bigs. Especially the way they saying strength is supposed to matter. Big Righteous, I got you. So I didn't get a chance to play with Biggs. I wasn't really testing out the Biggs, but as you can see, Kobe is moving Ray Allen, all right? Now, I'm not sure what Kobe's strength and back down Punisher is on, but Kobe is moving Ray Allen. And I noticed that not just with Kobe, but I also uh, I also noticed it with um, Jalen Brunson. Jalen Brunson versus Kyle Lowry, Brunson was moving him. So if this is the case for guard play, I'm pretty sure it's the same for the Biggs. So now, Y'all already know, when I make my Kobe, my Kobe gonna have that strength. You know what I'm saying? Most of these little, most of these little guards, 
They don't want to have strength. Y'all already know how they feel. Speed kills. So y'all know I'm going to still be out here killing people. You know what I'm saying? But I, I appreciate the fact that Cobra did it from a shooting guard perspective. And then he showed Brunson because Brunson, Brunson plays the post. He'll back you down. Just to get that, just, just to get you in a position that you don't want to be in. So that was that, that was two great players he used. You know what I'm saying? I could only imagine if somebody like like somebody like Righteous. The reason why he asked me and Righteous been talking. Shout out to the homie. Um, I know he making a big this year. He's going for that Shack build this year. You know what I'm saying? So if that's his build. He's really primarily a defender, but if he could have that scoring ability like Shaquille O'Neal, he might be a problem out there. You know what I mean? But let's keep rocking and rolling. Now, KC was going crazy with the questions. I ain't gonna lie to you, but I'm gonna try and answer <laughs> So he asks, how is the mid-range game with how court size spacing issues have been the past couple of years? Honestly, this year, the mid-range game, in my opinion, is just as lovely as it was last year. In yes, terms sir. of the spacing, that's usually a user thing. Like if you have other people on your team who aren't really spacing the floor, then yeah. But in general, nah, this mid-range game is lovely. On top of that, here's what I noticed. So certain shots that you might think would be contested are not contested this year. The contest system is different. So if you notice, my defender, I'm using Jason Tatum, Whoever's guarding me does not have a hand up and he's not directly in front of me. And because of that, yep. he gets a hand up late when the ball is out of my hands. That's open. You have to cover all phases of a jump shot. Now, your boy K. Drews asks, how did the shooting feel compared to 2K23? Was it a smoother or needed more work? Now, in my opinion, shooting, I was playing on Hall of Fame. I ain't gonna lie to you. I was struggling. Right, right out the box, I was struggling on the Hall of Fame. But once I got used to it, boy, did I get used to it. So, like I was saying earlier, the contest system. As you can see, my defender, he's directly in front of me, but he's not <coughs> actively guarding the jump shot. So, I'm just going to raise up. Bean is in takeover. I think his mid-range is a 99. If all phases of a jump shot aren't covered, then don't be surprised that they don't miss. You got to cover every aspect of a jump shot. Now, these couple of examples weren't really possible in 23. As you can see, Paul Pierce sprayed my teammate. And the reason that happened was Paul Pierce started shooting before my teammate was able to close. The mm -hmm. gather of his jump shot is not being good. And you see, y'all, uh, let me see what you guys see. Yeah, so you can see my cursor. You see this right here? Even in 23, I used to tell you guys, this is space. This is space. And the thing is that you guys are so accustomed to shooting with so much space that y'all guys never adjusted your eyes to see this is enough space for me to score. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully this year you guys could really, uh, and I hope you guys are really paying attention to what Black Cobra is saying. Black Cobra is a shot creator. And y'all guys see, he's not, he's not, um, He's not fighting for a lot of space. He knows how to use the space that you're going to give him. That's what makes you a great player. But let's keep rocking and rolling. Tested. That's open, right? So even when my teammate closes, right when he releases the ball, that's not a high enough contest. Right. You can't be surprised if somebody knocks that down. Now, this situation, Ray Allen is shooting. He started shooting before I got close enough and I'm closing from his blinder side his his non-shooting side and I'm right bro I'm right there the, but the hand is not directly in front of him and I'm closing so this is not going to be a high enough contest for him to miss and he sprayed me bro listen this is not the same day man this contest system is completely different and I'm going to show you on the user end as well. Now, Ray Allen is in an uh, aggressive defensive stance, but he's not actively guarding the jump shot. You can take advantage of this in 2K24. He's not guarding the jump shot, so I start to shoot, and by the time he gets his hand up, the ball is already out. Right, look at that. And see, and this is what I be showing you guys right now in 23. I'm always showing you guys. I'm like, look at this, look at this. And yes, yes, to answer your question, I do have, 
I do have more gameplay to cover you guys from here till, till the 8th when the new game drops. Trust me, I promise you guys. You know what I'm saying? But I want you to understand something. Even in 2K23, I showed you guys. This right here, you, you should be practicing this. Now, don't get it twisted. Kobe's Kobe. I'm sure Kobe got guard up on, on Vibranium. Kobe got uh, a MIDI magician on, on, on Vibranium. He got all the badges. It's, 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 it's Kobe. Come on, man. But I'm telling you guys, this is not a contest. This is not a contest. And plus, he's already in the air. It's not a contest, y'all. That is not going to be... That's not good right. shot defense. That's not going to be a high enough contest for a shooter who's badged out to miss. Same ex and now, please, that's, I want to I wanna be careful, right? I don't want to send the wrong message. He is playing with Kobe Bryant. The same way, shout out to Kevin Cruz. When I did the video on Kevin Cruz playing with Hakeem Olajuwon, you have to understand, they're playing with the actual player. So you guys are seeing Black Cobra play with Kobe Bryant. Will we be able to remake a Kobe Bryant? We don't know. We don't know. But the badges that Kobe is running, I'm sure it's crazy. I'm sure it's out of this world. You feel what I'm saying? So as long as you guys can understand that, like, I got to take this with a grain of salt because He's playing with Kobe. He's not playing with a my player. You feel me? Let's keep rocking and rolling. Example, MJ just pulled off rip because he noticed that I wasn't guarding the shot. So as soon as he catches it, I'm in a defensive stance, but I'm not, as you can see, I'm not, I don't even think he's going to shoot it, right? So I'm not guarding the shot and he just pulls up. I'm not in his shooting space, so that's going to be wide open. If the open road is an open invitation, then get up and go. Go windows down. Go ball. I'm telling you, it's different this year. Now, his second question was, is Interceptor still an OP badge? I'm going to be honest with you. I wasn't really trying to play passing lingos like that, so I can't answer. But I did have one scenario where I did. And when I tried to play the passing lane, I got punished for my timing. Now, I didn't use the right stick. I just used the button. But my timing was off. And I don't know if Kobe has Interceptor. But it looks like your timing has to be pinpoint. Otherwise, you're going to find yourself out of position just like last year. And you're going to be in a bad ways. Your rating's got to be right. you got to have the badge on a high enough level. And your timing has to be on point, it seems. Now, his third question is, how is the balance with paint scoring, floaters, scoops, ghost contested, blown layups, and paint defense? Now, now listen. I, I'm going to keep I'm going to be honest with you. Hopefully, 2K can address this. Hopefully they see this and address this. Now, I was on a fast break with Jalen Brunson, and I smoked. I completely smoked an open layup. I didn't green it, but I remember Mike saying that if it's open, you don't necessarily have to green it, but I don't know. Hopefully that this can be addressed uh, day one or somewhere down the line. So I don't think I should have missed that. Slightly early open, that should have went in. Um, other than that, the layup timing felt pretty good. Um, here's an example of me driving to the paint with uh, Jason Tatum. Even through traffic, I was still able to green and finish at the rim. So the layup game, the layup timings, it feels really smooth. Now, um, I wasn't really attacking the paint with layups a whole lot during my uh, my playtesting time, but I did notice that I was able to make some crazy contested layups with certain individuals like Kobe. Like that. Now, see, here's the interesting thing about see like he said he said with kobe it's kobe y'all see i gotta take it with a grain of salt i need y'all to understand that it's kobe you know what i'm saying and yes this year i'm gonna have to run that 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 layup meter i'm gonna have to it is what it is because like they said if you're wide open it's very it's very likely that, 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 that you, you that the whole meter is gonna be green Unless it's contested, so let's see what happens. But I'm gonna have to make I'm gonna have to make an adjustment this year. I put in a layup meter. It is what it is, y'all. You know what I'm saying? I gotta add to the game. I don't know if you noticed, but that was a switch layup and it was green. I don't know if you have to time 
acrobatic layups. Like when you switch a layup, but I, that looked like a switch layup. And, and if I, if memory serves me correct, I did switch that. So if you gotta time your acrobatic layups, that's a game changer. Now you can't just go up with anything as you see uh, MJ just going up with it. And that's uh, 33, that's a, that's a yellow contest. You can't just get away with doing anything you want down there. You gotta pick your spots and you see MJ, MJ gets the ball back. And he's like, nah, come back, come back here. But that's all I really got on layup timing. Now, Dre Watson, shout out to Dre. He asks, the, su the suction cup screens, have they been fixed for 24? Because in previous years, the pick and roll screen animations were so strong that they were that we were hard to get around, even if I had picked Dodger badge. So I just wanted to know if that was addressed. Now. Well, I will say this. For that, I already showed you guys. I showed you guys how to use the right stick to get over the screens. You know what I'm saying? How to slip in front of them. And then when you know that they can try to get, when, when, when they can try to cut off, like like cut off the body feature, you go in front of them to always get the foul. So I've showed you guys that many a times too, but yeah, the screens were a little tough, but let's, let's see what you gotta say. I felt as if getting around screens with Kobe in particular wasn't really an issue. As you can see, Rondo sets the screen, but I'm, I'm able to easily navigate around that. Now, um, screens, depending on who's setting it and who's trying to avoid it, it's different. Uh, if, a, if a small guard is setting it and you're and you're trying to get around it with somebody like Kobe, you're gonna be able to avoid screens and get around screens easier. As opposed to uh, this next example that I'm gonna show you, I think um, KG, yeah, KG, I put KG in a pick and roll, but KG is not a perimeter defender and he doesn't have pick dodgers, so he's gonna get stuck more so than someone who does have high perimeter defense and pick dodger, they'll be able to navigate a little bit more better. Now, Irv Gotti, shout out to Irv. He asks, what are some advantages you get with the triple, uh, triple strike badge? Now, I'm gonna be honest. It felt very similar to 23. Uh, I don't know what uh, badge level Kobe has it on, but it felt very similar to 23 in terms of explosiveness. Now, I don't know if you will have this thing to uh, success if you don't have the badge, I'm, I'm pretty sure Kobe has it on gold or something like that, but the moves, the explosiveness, it felt very similar to 2K24, and that's a good thing. But there were some other things that I noticed myself, and it has to do with the uh, contesting yourself, like shot blocking. In this example, Christoph Porzingis, he went for a swat block from a standstill position, but he was trying to swat a post fade, like a fadeaway shot. You can't do that this year. I don't know if you were able to do that last year, but that you are not gonna be successful trying to swat block off a standstill vertical position against a, a fade. Yeah, you, you, you couldn't do it this year neither. That's why I told you guys, even like this year, there was a big difference. I did videos on this. When you held triangle, you hold your hand in the air. Once you let it go, you're gonna swat. I've done videos on this, and this is why I be telling you guys, y'all guys don't care to learn the controllers, the game. It's almost like me and WWE, like me speaking a righteous. It ain't that I didn't care to learn. I tried to learn it, but some of the moves are hard to pull off. But after speaking to him, he's like, listen, you gotta be in this position. You gotta have this. He showed me the Hulkamania. Now, guys gotta watch my, my, my WWE videos. Remember how, how, how Hulk Hogan will be on the floor, and then they'll hit him, and he'll be like, and I hit him, he'll be like, and then he get really hyped, and then they hit him again, and he goes, like, that move is in the game. I never knew that. But he showed me that I had to fill the blue adrenaline bar, things, things of that nature. Like, I didn't know this. You understand what I'm saying? So it's like, it's good to have somebody to talk to, especially somebody who's a dad. That makes it even better for me. I appreciate you, Big Righteous. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, you got to learn the game, y'all. You got you to gotta understand the game. That's not going to work. Now, in this position, I noticed that Kobe got a contact spin layup. Again, I don't know if that was a thing in 20 and 23. I don't remember ever seeing it. But in 24, it seems as if you get contact spin layups or and contact spin, uh, sorry, contact euros. If that is true, if this is a thing, this is also uh, really great for drawing fouls. Well, I definitely got the contact layups. Um, I've done videos on that. I, it was definitely in 23. It may be more, more, power, more powerful now that strength is going to matter. 
But Nicole Jokic, that was one, like, I used to love, like, being, like, rolling off of somebody and getting a contact and a whistle and the ball go up. I used to love that. So, yeah, it was in the game, but let's just see. It, it, may, be, it may actually be more powerful this time. If you got whistle, Kobe got whistle on goal, right? So if you're able to draw contact off of those contact spin layups and go up with goal whistle, listen, people who know how to draw contact, they're going to eat this year. But let's talk about these push dribbles. Now, push dribbles is a new mechanic in 2K, but be careful, okay? Do not think that you're just gonna push dribble whenever you want to with no consequence. That ball is tangible. Once you push that ball, it is out of your control. So if there's anybody in the vicinity who is playing that, that ball is gone, all right? So you gotta be strategic with when you push dribble. But you even seen right there, look at, Look at Lonzo. Look what Lonzo did, right? Look what Lonzo did. Draw contact. They're gonna eat this. Look at Lonzo. Look. But let's talk about. This look, he's push pushing it right now. See, he's pushing it. And the minute he got in front of somebody, he slowed it down. Okay, See? Be careful, okay? Do not think that you're just gonna push dribble whenever you want to with no consequence. That ball is tangible. Once you push that ball, it is out of your control. So if there's anybody in the vicinity who is playing that, that ball is gone. Yep. Right? So you gotta be strategic with when you push dribble. Now this is one of my favorite clips because it really showcases the contest system and just what type of shots you can get off uncontested. That is such a Kobe-esque shot. Mm -hmm. And the reason that this is open is because MJ isn't guarding the, mm -hmm. the gather of the shot and he's not there at the apex of the shot he's there when the ball is gone right so you might want to utilize those pivot step through shots this year but that's all i got in terms of gameplay hopefully i answered you guys question yeah i already know man cobra the video is fire hope you guys enjoyed it uh go show go show some love to the homie to the bro you know what i'm saying um Learned a lot from this, you know what I'm saying? I think 2K24 is going to be a, fan, a fantastic game. I'm ready to enjoy it. I'm no longer playing 23. Like, I just, I really can't sit here playing 23 with everything that I already know with 24. I can't do it. I can't do it. More information coming. Make shout out to everybody always showing love to me. Big shout out to all the spaces showing love to me, pulling me up, allowing me to speak, give my creative ideas to you guys. And it's been a blessing, man. But y'all already know, man. I'm your host, Michael May, True Hall of Fame Bills. Thank you for being here. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, turn notifications. Until next time, we out.